let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> Well, my spouse and I have been planning on getting our wedding together for next month and we've been working on creating a appropriate backdrop in our own backyard. I've decided to take this week's Top 5 Tuesday reaching out to our parents and grandparents. So in total I talked to six grandparent figures within our lives and came up with today's Top 5 Tuesday five ways grandparenting is different from parenting. Welcome to dad's class. My name is Devin Pierce. So I think we're going to go ahead and give you guys a bonus that isn't part of the top five because it was probably the only unique answer I got, which kind of surprised me. And that came from my grandfather where he stated that the best part about being a grandparent is teaching the grandchildren all the things their parents won't and then sending them home. As I said, there were some common themes threaded throughout the different comments. And even though each parent shared their experience or their opinion on the differences in a unique way that was very much tied into the differences in their parenting styles, they all kind of came down to the same points. The number one thing that all the grandparents had to say was the fact that because you're older and you've gotten through the difficulties of raising a family, you tend to be in a more financially secure spot and also have less financial responsibility for your grandchildren than you did for your children, which takes a lot of the stress out of your relationship with them. The next thing that they all mentioned to me was the fact that having already experienced being a parent, their children may not want to hear it, but they are able to provide advice when asked and they can draw upon those experiences when dealing with their grandchildren to improve upon how they may have dealt on with them as parents. Because grandparents are on the outside looking in typically and in the situation of these particular individuals I spoke with, there is less responsibility towards the upbringing of those children. And that leads us into our next aspect of how you're able to spoil them more. And I don't just mean financially or with material objects, but you're able to spoil them with a friendship that comes from love. Due to that commonly, and in the situation of all those I talk to, their children and grandchildren don't live with them, you don't have that day-to-day -day interaction. So what time you do get with those grandchildren holds much more value, and you're able to holster those moments and care for them more because you're making that time for them rather than it being just when you can find it. As in overall, the grandparents that I spoke with did have to note that it's simply easier being a grandparent. And that stems again from that not being associated with the day-to-days of parenting. In addition to that, a particular note from my mother was the rewarding nature of their love, the love that they receive from grandchildren. Now everybody's situation is different. However, in my mother's situation, having only ever had one child of her own, and me being in my mid-20s before having children, it was a refreshing and renewing experience for her. And she made a point of mentioning that to me, which kind of warmed my heart, so I wanted to make sure I shared that with you. As always, guys, thanks for coming by and checking out this Top 5 Tuesday. Be sure to look at other episodes here on Dad's Class, and let me know in the comments below if there's a topic you would like us to discuss, either as a Top 5 list or as a future podcast. Thanks for watching. I should have been checking these off as I went through the list. I have a pen, but I don't remember what I've already said. That's the problem. <laughs>